Okay, welcome to our 575 map about the natural gas flows in Europe. We've got about three years, a little bit more of data from 2019 to 2021, uh, and a little bit of 2022, two months. Here's our splash screen that gives a brief introduction to our map. We've got three layers, which we'll see in a second. Our core plot of annual net imports of gas for each country in Europe, our routes of principal pipelines, and the location of where those gas flows go across the country plus a couple of re-expressions. So let's get into it. Okay, you can see our pipelines here. You can see these border crossings where gas flows across an international boundary. And you can see our core plot in the back here, which shows us the net imports. So Germany, the big economic powerhouse of Europe, it's red, which means it's a big importer. Norway, it's a little bit bluer. It's an exporter. And in between, we've got Belarus and Ukraine, which are big transit company, countries. They also have a negative volume of gas going through them, which means that they are a negative net importer or an exporter. So we can compare between each of these countries and see where they are. We can rank them. If we look at the color over here on the legend, we can, on the toggle over here, or the menu over here, we can toggle our base layers for a different overlay. We can toggle on the different layers. So get whatever overlay we want to do. We've got a drop down menu. So we can select a given year and month, and we can update the proportional symbols here. You can see the change in size. We can zoom in if there's an area where we want to see exactly what's going on, say in the Netherlands where it's kind of dense, and we can see what's happening. We can hover, or we, sorry, we can click and retrieve information for a border point here and see the volume that's going through for that given month. And on the core plot, we can also do a retrieve by, we're going to zoom out first though, and we're going to turn it on. And we can hover over and you'll see, again, we can retrieve the specific information about the uh, imp net import that they have. We've got a sequence control here where we can go through and zoom out so we can see it. But we can, see, we can sequence through the net imports for each of these countries here. Okay, we can then go on to our re-expressions. We've got our line graph here. And this, there's a line for every border point. And there's more than one for each country, but we can toggle on and off these countries. So we can see the anomalies and trends, anything that's going on. We can brush over to retrieve a specific border point and get the name of it to retrieve and identify it. We've got some supplemental information here to uh, show any other anomalies and trends to be found. So we got one more re expression. So these are the proportional symbols by GDP. And this shows the color here shows the uh, the net imports and again or the export depending on how you look at the positive number negative number you can hover over it to retrieve the specific data that's for whichever month we have filtered for we'll see it bounce around there so again we can identify the uh, the country we're looking at there too so we also got some simple information to see some other analysis, um, any sort of trans anomalies there for a deeper details on demand if we scroll down there. So our final thing here is our about, this tells you where we got our data from. We got it from the IEA, International Energy Association, as well as the ENTSOG, European Network of Transmission System Operators for Gas. There's a big, great map here. Uh, we wrote a big SQL query to get all this data onto our map that took a lot of time in the original data sets here. And that's it. Thank you.